by the evolution of the development in the science of cartography or in map making hum ye dekhte hain ki jaise jaise techniques aur tools ne tarakki ki hai isi tarah se naksha banane ya naksha sazi mein bhi jo hai bahut si modern ya jadid alat ka istemal kiya gaya hai iski madad se hum na sirf bahut hi precise level pe mapping kar sakte hain balki बहुत सी इंफॉर्मेशन को एक ही नक्शे पे दिखा भी सकते हैं तो अ मैप इज अ सिंबॉलिक डिपिक्शन हाईलाइटिंग रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट रीजन एंड एनी थीम सो दीज आर एक्चुअली द मैप विच आर कॉल्ड द थीमेटिक मैप्स जिसमें हम मुख्तलिफ थीम्स को जिसमें वी हैव एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लैंड यूजेस और लैंड कवर्स को हम एक ही नक्शे पे दिखा सकते हैं और उनके कलर मुख्तलिफ हो सकते हैं उनके शेड मुख्तलिफ हो सकते हैं लेकिन उससे हमें मुख्तलिफ थीम्स का की शनाख्त का पता चल सकता है कार्टोग्राफी और मैप मेकिंग इज द स्टडी एंड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ क्राफ्टिंग रिप्रजेंटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ अपॉन अ फ्लैट सरफेस एंड one who make map is called a cartographer so here we have again an example of uh, map so isme aap dekh sakte hain ki longitude latitudes bhi hain aur mukhtalif barazam dikhaye gaye hain lekin kaise banaye jate hain isme jo hai technique bhi maujood hai jo ke mukhtalif alat ki madad se ya mukhtalif electronic devices ki madad se ya mukhtalif jo hai wo रीसेंट टेक्नोलॉजी की मदद से ये मैप बनाते रहे पहले जो पुराने मैप हमारे सामने आते हैं तो वो ज्यादातर हैंडमेड थे जिसमें हाथ की मदद से हम इन नक्शों को बनाया जाता था लेकिन वो एक्यूरेट नहीं थे तो यहाँ पर हम देख सकते हैं कि नॉर्थ अमेरिका जिस भी लॉन्गिट्यूड लेटीट्यूड के दरमियान वाक्य है और ये लॉन्गिट्यूड लेटीट्यूड जो है इस बर को इसकी स्पेसिफिक लोकेशन को हाईलाइट कर रहे हैं इसी तरह से यहाँ अफ्रीका है तो इसके भी एक पर्टिकुलर लाइंस ऑफ लॉन्डिट्यूड लैंगट्यूड में मौजूद हैं इस नेटवर्क को ये जो मौजूद है नेटवर्क इसको ग्रेटिक्यूल्स कहते हैं जिसमें लाइंस ऑफ लॉन्गिट्यूड्स एंड लैटिट्यूड्स आर मेकिंग अ नेटवर्क व्हिच इज कॉल्ड अ ग्रेटिक्यूल सो मैप्स आर नॉट द इन्वेंशन ऑफ मॉडर्न एज द अर्लीस्ट मैप्स वर जर्नली पिक्टोरियल roughly sketched and inaccurate we have talked earlier that the old maps are actually the maps of the surface of the earth but those are not the accurate or truly represented the area the picture of the area so here is a map of the old time so this map was made by a greek philosopher whose name was ptolemy the credit of the laying the foundation of the modern geography goes in fact to the ancient greek geographer whose achievement in this field were not excelled till the 16th century the recognition of the earth as a sphere with its poles equator and tropics the divisions of the earth into climatic zone the development of the systems of graticules and formation of the first projection with the calculation of the size of the earth are all achievement of the greek geographer like aristotle eratosthenes and ptolemy so this map is actually developed by the greek geographer ptolemy so here is a map of the mediterranean this actually is a map of mediterranean area but it represents the whole of europe this is the map of europe the south of africa and he made a sketch of the river nile here he was a greek philosopher and between 92 to 168 ad has invented a map of the world and other 26 detail maps on this map or in this world map of asian europe extended over 180 through 
the northern area of Africa. Here is Africa. So the northern side is covered with Mediterranean. Today it is covered by the Mediterranean Sea and the southern part of Europe. This is Europe. So the area was actually truly represented. The location was true. Lekin uski jo extension hai, ye jo extension thi, usne 180 degree tak di. Jabke iski exact jo hai, real jo extension hai, wo 42 degree hai. So is a difference between the calculations. So those are actually the rough estimates, but today we have accurate extension of the any object or truly represented by the, the certain tools which are actually called the recent technology. So those are the maps of the uh, modern era. This map is actually the map of the world, but is not accurate. Again, is, is actually closer to the real world. Yes, you this North America, this is South America, Africa, Asia. They can uh the area jo hai wo accurate nahi hai. Ya in ki jo extension hai wo sahi nahi hai. Whereas the map of uh, 2004 is me jo hai wo accurately the maam jo hai continent majood hai jinka area or location accurate hai. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia and Australia. So this is Antarctica. Actually, jaise jaise science ne trakhi ki hai, uh, uske saas saas jo hai, Wo cartographic techniques ne bhi jiddat aai hai. The introduction of the aerial photography in the beginning of the 20th century was a revolution or a new phase in cartography, especially in topographical surveying. This method is quicker, cheaper and useful for comparatively unknown or unexplored regions. All advanced countries of the world have made extensive use of the aerial photographic service. So these actually pictures are taken by the aeroplane of the different uh, parts of the world. So it may be a part of the world or whole of the planet. So these are accurate maps but with high or low resolutions. These are the land uses, maybe a water and these are the green patches. So all are actually pictured by the aerial photography. So this is one of the recent technique in map making or in cartography. So this uh, mapping is called the digital cartography or digital maps. So a large scale map shows a small area with great detail. A map depicting a large area such as country is considered a small scale map and shows more territory but less detailed.